It's time for the news broadcasting live on TVB TV here in Brekuso, Accra, Ghana. My name is Sir Obed, coming up shortly. Traders apologize to Mahama for the past election choices and praise his development project in Kumase. Heavy security presence at Okonglu as three-day protest against Galamse begins. Let's dive into the stories. Traders in the Ashanti region have issued a formal apology to the flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress, John Ramani Mahama, for not supporting him and the party in previous elections. The apology was delivered by Nana Akusua Pukua, the Afini Hima Abediatri, during the ND this women's manifesto lunch at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Kumasi on Monday, September 30, 2024. Speaking on behalf of traders in the region, she pleaded for forgiveness, acknowledging their past electoral decisions. Nana Pokua expressed disappointment with the new patriotic party, the traders' current party of choice, citing unfulfilled promises. She also praised the NDC flag bearer for the numerous developmental projects he initiated in the region during his presidency, including the construction of market centers, which she said greatly benefited the trading community. We regret the decision we made in the past and ask for your forgiveness. We now realize the impact of the development you brought to Kumasi and we vow our support going forward, Nana Pukua stated. Moving on to another story, heavy security presence along the Opunglo stretch as the coalition of concerned citizens against Galamse commences its three-day demonstrations on Thursday. October 3, 2024, with protesters gathering at Opunglu. Protesters will march from Opunglu through the Association International School to Kaukudi Junction and then to the Parliament House, where a petition will be submitted to demand the release of the 53 persons arrested during the Democracy Hop demonstration on September 22, 2024. The protesters organized under the slogans hashtag Free the Citizens and hashtag Say No to Galamse seeks to draw the attention to the detrimental effect of illegal mining, popularly known as Galamse, and to demand for stronger action to keep the practice. Despite the police being there to provide security, there are also some civilians among the protesters wearing t-shirts with the inscription, security boldly written behind them. These people are also believed to be helping the police in ensuring that there is order during the demonstration. That's all for the news, a recap of the headlines. Traders apologize to Mahama for the past election choices and praise his development project in Kumase. Heavy security presence at Opunglu as three-day protest against Galamse begins. Thanks for watching TVP TV. I'm Sir Obed. I'm out.